In this video, I'm going to share with you the most baity and glitchiest coverage defense in Madden 22 right now. This is going to help you slow down a lot of the most effective offenses that most people are running in this game. It's going to help you slow down gun bunch. It's going to help you slow down trips tied in. It's going to help you slow down all of those kind of formations. So let's jump into the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. My name is Cody and we release new videos every single day uh, here on the YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss any of these videos. And we're going to be going over this coverage defense out of the nickel 335 odd. I absolutely love this defense. Um, this formation is so good. It's got great pressure. It's also got great coverage defense in it as well. And we're going to show you how to make a, a good coverage defense um, great here in just a second. Now, you're going to notice here that I went with the... I changed my, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see here, I got the FS inside package. If I flick my right joystick to the left or right, it's gonna change the packages. And you wanna scroll over until you get to that free safety uh, inside package. You could also do the strong safety inside package. They were both gonna be basically uh, kind of the same as far as what we're looking for. And then as you see here, I'm just gonna go through and sub in safeties at that sub linebacker position. I'm gonna put Isaiah Simmons on the end because uh, you just wanna put your fastest guy, the guy that you're gonna send some pressure with. That's who I like to put in that position and then we'll be good to go. Now, coaching adjustments, really important. We're gonna base a line. We're gonna put our ball in air defense to play ball. Option defense on conservative. Flats are gonna be on 30. Curl flats are going to be on five and hooks are going to be on default. That's how I like to set up this base coverage. And we're going to be setting this up out of the Tampa two. And I'll show you how this works. It's super, super simple setup, to be honest. And um, I'm just really excited. Let's jump into it. So uh, here it is. Nickel 35 odd Tampa two. All we're going to do is we are going to uh, we're going to spread our defense and then we're going to show blitz from there. All we're going to do is we're going to put this left of screen. Um, Outside linebacker, we're going to put him on a curl flat zone. We're going to put our slot corner. We're going to put him on a middle third zone, as you can see. And then we're going to put our, we're going to crash our D line to the right. We're going to put our defensive end on the right side on a curl flat zone. And then what I like to do with this is I like to go ahead and QB spy uh, my nose tackle and blitz my user. If you want to, you can put your uh, defensive nose tackle into a bluff blitz assignment. But as you can see here, this is going to create that Mabel coverage. We can also go ahead and we can put the, um, the safeties in outside thirds as well if we have time to do that. And that will basically help us not get bombed if they go with gun bunch verticals. And what you're going to see here is this is just an absolutely incredible coverage defense because not only is it a great coverage defense, but you're going to find that you're going to get a lot of sacks with this defense. So again, here's your setup. All you're going to do is you are going to spread your defense. You're then going to show blitz, crash your D line to the opposite, like to the bunch side. And then you're going to drop the left of screen linebacker into a curl flat zone. The right of screen uh, slot corner, you're going to put him into a deep third. And then you're going to drop the right of screen defensive end to a purple zone. And last but not least, go ahead and take those safeties if you have time um, and put them in outside thirds. And then you're just using over the middle of the field. And that's pretty much it. And you're going to see this defense is going to absolutely be very difficult uh, for them to just, they're just going to have to work. Um, they're going to be able to beat certain things. Certain things are going to be open this year, but you're going to force them to have to work up and down the field, which is one of my main reasons why I really do like this defense. Now I want to show you a man to man version of the same basic concept. Uh, and to do that, we're going to use the cover two man. So all we're going to do is we're, we've audibled here to the cover two man. I think let's see for whatever reason it's not showing me. There we go. Cover two man. And all we're going to do is we're actually going to base the line and press this as well. And the reason why I like to do that is so that it looks exactly the same as my zone coverage. We're then going to spread our defense. We're going to show blitz. We're going to crash our D line opposite, just like we've been doing. And then really, really important. What I like to do with this is I like to take this uh, defensive end on the right and actually man him up onto the tight end. And then I'm going to QB spy that guy and just make sure that you're pass committing. And honestly, that's pretty much it. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and um, you can put these guys in outside thirds, deep halves, whatever you want. Uh, I personally like to leave them just as they are. I find that that's fine. Uh, like I said, you could even, if you wanted to, you could put one of them into a middle third and put the other one into an outside third on their corresponding side. So it might look something like this right here. But as you can see, just a man coverage looks exactly the same as the zone coverage defense. 
and we're just trying to kind of force them to have to work up and down the field. But this is really, truly one of my favorite ways that I'm playing coverage right now in this game. Uh, I find that these 30-yard cloud flats, they're going to take away pretty much everything that you – they're going to take away everything over the top. So crossers, corners, um, they're going to take away a lot of stuff. They're going to be very, uh, like, bait and switch. They're You know, they're, the opponent's going to think they're open, and then they're going to be covered. And the cool part about this is at the right time, what I want you to do is just set your play up just like you've been. Um, with that purple zone to that left side linebacker and then um, you have that but the only thing we're going to do is instead of putting the purple zone now on the right we're going to actually just blitz the slot cornerback straight down and what you're going to notice here is this is going to allow us to get one of the best blitzes in the entire game coming completely free at the quarterback and be able to get a sack so thanks for watching this video it's a little bit about my 335 odd and i have a full defensive ebook on this formation that literally walks you step by step through how you can have the best possible defense that you could possibly have right now in Madden 22. It gives you the ability to send significant pressure, and it also gives you the ability to have some of the best coverage defenses as well. Like I said in a previous video, we are able to get two-man pressure off of both edges with this defense. So I think that's absolutely incredible. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to get my 335-odd defensive ebook, I also threw in a bonus Big Nickel Over G breakdown into that as well. You can get that for just $15. There's a link in the description all you got to do is go down to the description click on that link it'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away